Welcome back to Hero Goldberg. Today I'll be talking about a degree in mathematics. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? Our objective with this segment is to see if everything adds up. So you take myself, combine with AOC, subtract some items, divide others, and is the result chemical or vegetable? Yeah, didn't think about it that way, did you? In any case, mathematics can work as a major. It's important to comprehend that depending on where you go to school, you might have specialties like applied mathematics, financial mathematics. Um, and the bigger focus has to be on are you capable of handling those higher level courses? Because it's not just going to entail Algebra 1 and 2. So there are some who can hobble their way using Khan Academy. Others will require tutors. However, don't go into this field just because oh, you heard someone a lecture on the internet. Oh, that's your only option because it could be actually destructive if you're just not capable. All right. Um, that being said, we have the BLS, mathematicians and statisticians. You see 33% growth, about 15,000 jobs. So that's actually pretty decent. Another category, operations research analysts, which is tangentially related, 25% growth and almost well, just over 26,000 jobs. So looking pretty good so far. Actuaries, that is doing advanced mathematical calculations, often for like insurance companies, 18% growth, 4,900 jobs. Although bear in mind, not everyone can become an actuary. So one thing they should probably include in these profiles is a comparison of how many folks are actually graduated in a very similar course of study versus the jobs because like I said actuary you know that type of science it's not open to just any random Joe on the street then you have computer and information research scientists which this is the most closely tied to data scientists when you uh, perform the research 15% growth 5,000 jobs now I guess one of the potential risks as with a lot of other professions would be the growth of AI machine learning that could have a dent, but at least in the short term, I would say, you know, next 10, 20 years, it's not a bad option. And a little bit later on in the video, we'll show you some ways you can already accrue experience or uh, education without necessarily having been in that role. Okay, so jobs, you have a mathematics professor, which is probably in academia this slightly better option you know if you're looking at it from the standpoint of can you get a job you don't want to be stuck as an adjunct in perpetuity that is one way to go my main advice would be consider what university you attend especially at the undergraduate level should be at least public research or a decent private one with a respected mathematics department because it's not just oh i went to a great school but do you have the funding there? Do you have the professors there that will get you the proper internships or at least independent study opportunities? Uh, a smaller institution was like, yeah, we offer this, but it's just taught by some adjuncts is not your best uh, way to go. Then you have actuaries. I should note two of the people I know who are actuaries are also alcoholics. They found it to be very stressful as a job. That doesn't mean everyone who does actuarial science is an alcoholic. Uh, it is high paid, but it's also difficult to get into. So I always say this, just because someone, uh, oh yeah, this is a good job, does not mean everyone's going to be able to do it. So be honest with yourself. Are you capable of that level of mathematics and thinking? If not, look for another opportunity. And we have data scientists. As I said, good option, definitely a growth field. Main potential headwind, as with others, is going to be AI. If you are interested in data science, you have Coursera, and I believe you can also find similar in Udacity, probably Udemy as well. Here's some examples, IBM data science, data science from Johns Hopkins. You could potentially do that in high school if you have you know, a little bit of background with the necessary technological tools, but that just gives you a sense of, okay, am I actually driven to do this? And one of the best advantages of the internet, to be honest, is you can have a low cost, uh, really exposure to certain career fields without having to spend a ton of money on something that in the end, oh, it's a fluke. I don't really see myself doing this for 20 years. So uh, that's my view on mathematics. If you have any other majors you want to see discussed, drop them below.